Now the best result we've got so far is 14 from our, our man, the professional footballer. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> go! He just went two metres behind the line! Oh, he's out! He's out, the four minute mile is out! Sup guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to a fitness test video. Today's fitness test, today's challenge, you could call it, is the beep test. Now I know a lot of you guys out there will, will have heard of the beep test, in fact, I think it may be called something else, but first, before I react to the beep test, before I get some numbers in my head, and before we head down to the local field to give it a go ourselves, which you know is going to be the second part of this video, I do want to just lay out everything I know about the beep test, everything I've experienced with the beep test, and my expectations um, for the next video when, when we try it ourselves. So the beep test, I would have to say, um, I've done it twice that I can remember. The first time I did it was at primary school. The second time I did it was at a physical testing day um, for prison officer recruitment in Alice Springs about nine years ago now. So that would have been 2011 when I was thinking about becoming a prison officer. It never happened, but I did do the beep test as well as some other physical tests that they had on the day. Now as far as the beep test goes, and I can vividly remember this, about nine years ago, about 88 kilos, I got 10 on the dot. And I can vividly remember that it was just me and another guy running at that time. So I pulled out at 10 on the dot. Um, I thought, you know what, it's, a, it's an even number. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull out now. The other guy went, I think, till like 11 point something. And that was it. And that's the last time I've had anything to do with the beep test. So I'm really excited. I am, I love, I love, I love physical activity. I love challenges. And this is going to be yet another challenge that we bring to the channel. So, with that being said, guys, there's three things I want to find out before we head down to the field and do it ourselves. The first is what is the actual beep test and how was it invented? Why was it invented and by who? The second thing I want to find out is what level determines someone that's fit. Does it depend on their weight and age? Or is it just a straight up one fits all test? I want to know some world records. I want to know the level of a few sports people that I actually know, and much, much more. So with that being said, let's get into the first part of this video, Rugby Player Reacts to the Beep Test. Enjoy. Okay, so as per usual, uh, let's go to a YouTube and write in the beep test. Well, there we go. So it looks as if it looks as if the beep test in full is 23 minutes and 20 seconds long. But I have to confirm which audio version we're going to use because that's something I need to work out before we head down. So it's most likely going to be one of those first two. There's one beep test that's 21 minutes and 58 seconds long. There's one beep test that's 30 minutes and 51 seconds long. There is, we tried to redo the beep test. That looks funny. Pro footballer attempts the beep test. That looks very interesting. Eagles Brennan Cox finishes the beep test at the AFL Combine. Okay, there's one other thing that I did want to mention. The highest number that I've ever heard anyone perform with the beep test, I think, was around about 15 to 17. And that was done at an AFL combine. And AFL is Aussie Rules Football. And I just saw there that they did include a clip of a beep test three years ago at the AFL combine. And with the fitness levels of AFL players, I wouldn't be surprised if they got 20. So we're going to look at that too. But the first thing we're going to do, we are going to look at the AFL beep test. We're going to look at pro footballer attempts the beep test. We're going to look at BuzzFeed Oz. We tried to redo the beep test. And last but not least, Let's choose one more. Multi-stage fitness test. Eight years ago. Pacer fitness test, beep test versus subscribers. Okay, so we've got Nick Simmons with 1.7 million views. Um, beep test versus subscribers. That actually sounds like a whole lot of fun. Fuck, I could host a beep test versus subscribers. Oh, we're definitely watching that one. Right, you guys, I think that is enough of that. And with that being said, let's get into our first video, which is... Eagles, Brennan Cox finishes the beep test at the AFL Combine. Does it give, does it give his, f no, is there a description? No, there's not. So much bullshit in this comment section. 
Level 13, 5, and the video stops. So this video that's called Eagles Brennan Cox Finishes the Beep Test the AFL Combine is not true because the beep test goes up to level 20. And what replies do we have on that? You're meant to do it with 20 metres apart. This is only 10 metres. What the fuck? That means they're complete trash. Yeah, count their steps. They don't even take 20 steps and the steps, steps are tiny. And the beep test goes to 2111. Okay, once again, the comment section has sent me down a rabbit hole that I don't want to go down. So let's just watch. Level 10, 2. So that's 20 metres. Some people are trying to say that that's 10 metres. Well, an interesting observation is that they're halfway through level 10, and I said that I gave up at level 10. At about these guys' age. So I'd be done by now. Let's see how much it speeds up by the end. Because this is going to be absolutely brutal. He doesn't look like he's struggling too much, to be fair. So this is at the combine. This must be one of a few different events that they have to perform. I'd love to watch this. This should be televised. Or am I the only one that, that's interested in watching something like this? <laughs> what would be really cool is seeing some of your, your favourite athletes performing the test. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh man, they're so done. I think my man on the end is uh, almost out. Yeah, he's done. 12.10 he got. Now, I'd assume these guys are a bit fitter than myself. Far out. Uh, right, so I guess the comment section was correct in saying that he didn't actually finish it. The Eagles' Brennan Cox finished the beep test at level 13.5, which looked like it was absolutely torture. But with that being said, we've got our first time, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go AFL Combine 13.5, and let's move on. Okay, so this is 26 and a half minutes long. I'm definitely not going to watch the whole thing, but we will skip through to see what kind of football he's talking about for a start and what his test result was. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. So it is Wednesday. Shit, sounds like he might be an American footballer. Wednesday, today's Wednesday morning. I have to do a fitness test today, a little beat test, um, just to submit my time for the team. So I'll kind of show you guys what that's going on. I'll talk about fitness tests. I'll talk about my mentality about fitness right now and uh, what like fitness tests I think are the best as well in this video. I've actually been up for like two hours. I don't know if I said it, but it's like 7 a.m. I got up super early this morning. I've been absolutely grinding out studying. Um, and I haven't really talked about it, but I've been working and studying and, and trying to get uh, my certification to be a certified nutrition coach. So. Uh, the plan, if everything goes correctly, and I think I'm ready, the plan is to take that test tonight. So hopefully uh, I'm passing it, hopefully everything goes well, hopefully the study goes well, and uh, by the end of today I'll be a certified nutrition coach. And again, I'll talk more about what the exact test I'm taking and exactly what I'm doing and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to make some coffee right now. I can Tell me this is American football. Please, let me check. 
No, soccer. Six foot, 27 years of age, 170 pounds. I don't like it. I'm gonna do the beep test to start off today. It's a beautiful day, it's kinda hot. Uh, but basically, as for like FC Tulsa, what we're doing is we actually have to run the beep test every Wednesday and Saturday for this entire quarantine and then submit our times into our trainer so they can track us to make sure that we're at least like maintaining fitness and hopefully even improving fitness a little bit during this time. Um, as well as sending in our weights every single day and sending in like we're doing Zoom workout classes and Zoom meetings talking about going kind of nice-ish grass. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to set up a cone and then I'm just going to measure out 20 meters with this tape measure. And after I get to 20 meters, place another cone and that's pretty much the entire setup of the beep test. This is exactly what I'm going to do in about half an hour. I've got a tape measure, it only measures 7 meters, so we're going to have to do 3 lengths. Okay, once you have 20 meters all marked off, try to be as accurate as possible. Obviously there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy whenever you try to measure something out yourself, but um, just try your best. Next, Definitely you lean. Just the beep test audio, which you can just get for free on YouTube, so you just type in beep test audio. I'll link this one in case you guys want the specific one that I use, um, but it's just the, which the one beep is it? test audio full. It's got three. Uh, beep test audio full. Okay. I believe he's using this top one. 0.3 million views. And then you literally just play it on a Bluetooth speaker and headphones or something. You put it down. And every time there's a beep, you just need to make it to the opposite side. And if you miss it, if you don't make it, that's okay. Because you, it, it, it's only when you miss two in a row is when you oh. out. I didn't know that. Interesting rule. When you miss two in a row, you're out. So you can pull yourself out at any time. And okay. basically the goal is just try to go for as long as possible. Um, just trying to work on... What do we reckon this guy's going to get? I think he's going to get at least... Long distance kind of fuck, as a pro footballer, you've got to get at least 12. So the goal with this is usually to be above like 13. Oh. If you can get up to 14, 15, it's really... It's, that's a really high score. Um, but usually yep. 12, 13 is kind of like the cutoff of like where most college teams club teams or pro teams want you to be at. So 12, 13. My goal today is to, be at, uh, is to try to get to 14, and it should be good. I'm going to write that in. I'm going to go pro football expectation 12 or 13 at least. Okay. The multi-stage fitness test will start in five seconds. Five seconds. Well, that is a long five seconds. <laughs> right, this is interesting. Let's see the pace. Okay. Nice and easy. Is he going to show the entire test? He is, isn't he? Oh, what? Level 13, 11. Level 9, 3. Level 9, 4. Level 12, 5. Level 12, 6. Level 13, 11. Yeah, fuck that, man. This is gonna... <laughs> Oh, that's got to be tough. Start level 14 once. Wow. All right. Pro footballer versus the beat test. I did it. 14-1. Level 14.1. Wow. Uh, like, it's tough because anytime that you're in periods of... That's fantastic, mate. You know what? I'm going to give you a sub, like and then I'm going to quit. Because we're on to the next one, and this guy looks like he's struggling. BuzzFeed Oz. I have no idea who they are. I feel like it could be a bunch of Australians trying to do random things on YouTube. And with that being said, let's get into it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's Aussie.
So they've done it before. Hey, I'm Brad. I'm Michelle. I'm Jenna. And we're the Redo team where we challenge each other and ourselves by doing tasks from our past. And we're here at Miracle PCYC to redo the beef test. Which should be... Oh, how wrong. good! It is also 37 degrees today. So this is a great idea. So the beef test, I remember it being hell, but I also remember not doing it. So I chickened out and just pretended I had a broken ankle. And it worked. So pretend you had a broken ankle. I'm very dramatic and I wrapped it up in like, I think maybe performing arts would have been more your key than a PA. I've never done the beef test. The only um, guys, all I'm going to say is this should be very interesting. AFL pre-season time where you'd see all of the guys out on the track in early January, in February, and they'd be vomiting because they'd be running so much. And that was like, I'm never going to do that. And now here I am. My goal is to vomit. So we're going to stay away from that. Well. <laughs> So today we're battling it out for the coveted blinged out no hat no play hat and also the bragging right to say that we're better than each other. I just really want the hat. I don't think you want the hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do we have to wear it? Let's see what you got going on at the moment. Hey guys, my name is James. I'm a trainer for Mesa Fitness. Oh. I'm here to take you okay. through the big test. Today. It's still uploading. I'm very scared. What does a big test involve? Just think about 20 metre shuttle runs. Just running up to a mark. Wait to the beat and run back to the mark. So, Sounds disgusting. <laughs> so if you're not there at the mark, we'll give you a warning. If you do that two more times, you're not there, we'll kick you out. So three strikes. Three strikes and you're out. We'll listen to the whole video. What's a good one that I should be able to do So it's all done through a chart. It goes from four to five for men. Here we go. Level four for women uh, to excellent, which is basically level 13 to 14 for men, level 12 to 13. Okay. Beat test performance. Indicators. Five is terrible for men. Thirteen is great for men. Well, all right then. So what exactly is the average for a kid? Level two, that's kind of the poor range, where about level seven is the kind of excellent range of that age. So you just want to beat your nine-year-old self. I never did it. So <laughs> just Hang on, what's that? Level two, that's kind of the poor range. As a kid. Seven, so kind of range okay, two to seven. So Interesting. I never did it. So I just guess their legs aren't long enough. Well, it's on. It's on. All right, let's go. Oh, this just sounds like so much fun. I do have to say, before we start, this guy on the right here has the exact same attitude as me. As long as it's competitive, I'm in. Bitch, like trash talking is like, I hope you don't do as well as me. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't realise that 20 metres was this long. It's a long way. It's a long 20 metres. Is she going to get past level one? That is the question. Let's go. Oh, you'll find out. Just focus on what you got to do. Focus on the task at hand. Let's go. We need level two at least. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. Well, alright then. I can't wait to do this, man. I want to get down there now. Love challenges, eh? I love challenges that aren't going to push you to the torturous extremes if you don't want to. But I guess it depends how how how, how strong you are mentally and physically. He's got to get 10. I'm a team player. He's got to get 10. Do you like an orange? <laughs> I believe in you. Come on, man. This is actually good content. He's been running it's on a budget, too. 20 minutes. Oh. 
Ten point three. <laughs> okay. What was it called? Oh, that glitter's going to stick to all that sweat, you know. BuzzFeed Oz. You want an orange? Sure, I triple both of your scores. But, like, it's good that you guys can. You know what? Give me those oranges back. You bitch. Oh, my God. Like, you know, it's like a fucking Christmas tree. Like, it's like a Christmas tree. Like, you know, 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 it's and uh, Jenna, you got level five. So, great effort, team. That's for you, Brad. Would you like me to put it on you? Would you want to put it on your sound? No. Great effort, guys. Crown. I just really want great effort. lots of glitter on everything. Uh, really enjoyed that, and I'll, I'll give you a sub, just for the hell of it. In the next one. We're looking at Pacer Fitness Test, the beat test versus subscribers. This has one point, it's got nearly two million views. And this fella has 200,000 subs. This video has only been up for four months. What the fuck? Obviously people want to see a YouTuber go against subscribers. And to be honest, I'd love nothing more than that. It's going to happen guys. Stay subbed and you'll be involved in one of these challenges before you know it. This is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. <laughs> Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. On your mark, get ready. Hey, what's up everybody? Nick here, and today we're doing something I've never done before. It's the pacer test. If you've never heard of the pacer okay. test... Okay, run gum. Uh, I don't know if this guy's the inventor of run gum, but run gum is a caffeinated chewing gum, I believe. Specifically designed for runners. We may hear about it. Pacer stands for Progressive Aerobic Cardiovascular Endurance Run. Try saying that ten times fast. And it's something that middle schoolers, elementary school students, and high schoolers here in the United States are often... So they call the beep test the Pacer Fitness Test. ...forced to do to prove their fitness. Now, I never had to do one, but I've had a ton of my subscribers say, Nick, we'd love to see you do a Pacer test. So here we are in beautiful... Okay, this guy's a professional runner. What, what, what kind of monstrous number are we going to see this guy do? Salem, Oregon. It's 60 degrees It's going to be ridiculous. Sunny. Again, I've never done one before, so I recruited some friends to help me out. Let's go say hi. Who's ready for a Pacer test? Yeah! <laughs> Anyone who beats me today will be walking home with a free autographed box of run gum. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ESPN The Ocho. I'm here with Tyler Frey. We've got Nick Simmons, Tanner Morgan, and a ton of other athletes ready to compete in the old-fashioned pacer test. The These NBA kids look fit. I'm not going to lie. Down. As you can see, we've got plenty of. I don't think there's one overweight kid there. That's 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 fucking fantastic. Big dumb idiot out there named Tanner Morgan. He's wearing Crocs today. Let's see what he can do. Oh, uh, that's not easy. Nick Simmons looks to be uh, carrying the Olympic GoPro torch. Four. Woo! Wow, really oh, impressive, quick guys. One. Quick split. Save your all right, all right. got to get down there and do it myself. Hurry, hurry! So they do it in how many laps you do? Not by levels? 32. We'll let it slide. This one's got to be good, Oh, end of level four. <laughs> Before we continue, I need to know the difference between the pacer test and the beep test. The beep test and the paper test, <laughs> the beep test and the pacer test are basically the same thing. Look up the value for the test you did in the table below to get the equivalent in the other test. The first number in cell in bold is the pacer test score. The second one in italics is the equivalent beep test score. Well, all right then. So I believe it's a, the exact same time between 20 meter shuttles. It's just the, the number that is associated to the level is going to be slightly different. But let's say for a second guys, theoretically, that these fellas in this test that we're watching right now got 132 laps. That would be the equivalent of just reaching level 14, which is absolutely elite. Now if we get to 84 laps, that puts us at level 10. So 84 is level 10, 132 is level 14. 
Let's continue. We've got our second and third contestants out. Phenomenal effort. Once again, they at least doubled and tripled what I scored in high school. So, congratulations. Yeah. Top 25 finisher. 35. I think now's a great time to thank our sponsor of this video, Run Gum. You guys haven't heard of Run Gum. Run Gum is a caffeinated <laughs> energy gum. These single so, most efficient way to absorb caffeine sublingually. I'm chewing it right now. So 37, they're at 5.5. Luckily, I already knew what run gum was. All right, Simmons, how are we feeling? A little tired. A little tired. Not as bad as that Big Mac video. Uh -huh. Word on the streets of Simmons is a little tired. Let's see what he's got. How's everyone else doing? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Here we go. We got to make this line. 41. Yeah. Is this guy really a runner? Nick Simmons. I'm looking to race a skater. I can turn it so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, is this guy a. Is this. Is this. Is this. Is this guy a sprinter? Or is he a mile runner? Hey, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick Simmons and I was a professional athlete for 12 years. Okay. Let's have a look. Nick Simmons. 1983, we've got a picture of him there in 2011, 5 foot 10, 76 kg, oh what do we got here, 800 meters, 1500 meters, 400 meters, he ran a 47.45 second 400 meters, and a mile in under 4 minutes, this guy ran a 3 minute 54 second mile, well alright then, they went to NCAA Division 3, he, ran, he won 7 titles in outdoor track in NCAA Division III college. Simmons is a six-time US national 800 meters champion. He has competed in the 800 meters at two Olympic Games, reaching the semi-finals in Beijing 2008, while in London in 2012 he finished fifth in the final, running a personal best of 142.95 behind David Rudish's world record. Okay! Good job, you, you're great. Really impressive. 42. It's okay. I think you, you, you did better than I could have ever done. Tanner Morgan still setting world records right now in his Crocs. They're, I believe, of the cantaloupe nature, one of the best color Crocs out there. 44. So he's lying when he said he was tired, right? Timo, how's the sweatshirt doing? 45. Off goes the sweatshirt from Morgan. He breaks out the... Oh. Just an incredible <laughs> blue Fortnite shirt. 36. Wow. Wow. 47. 47, here we go. These competitors are extremely locked in right now. I don't know. If what do we say? 84 so is level 10. Ah. Is that right? 49. My money's on the front runner, runner right out here. He's Nick Simmons is a two-time Olympian. He's got the longest hair and then in the last mile Straight video out. of Sprague High School, I think he got the win. Did he get the win? 51. End of level 6. Yeah, it's getting fast. I think he ran a 430, about a 430 low mile. 52. Really impressive. High schooler. Holy shit. So some of these guys are actual, <laughs> actual athletes. 54. It doesn't look like it's hard, does it? They've been going for six and a half minutes. Those running singlets may be aerodynamic, but boy, they look like they're chafing right now. 56. Man, I don't know how I'm going to do it. sunscreen before this. 58. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going. We've got 13, 12, 10 left. At level 88. Well done, guys. Well done. Getting after it. We got one more drop down. What are we down to? Is this the top 10? Two, four, six, eight, Another guy eight. out. Finalist. Down so 90, let me have a look here, is 10.7. The final eight. We're filling all eight lanes this race. Here we go. It's coming down to the nitty gritty. Here we go, here we go. It's the shuttles, man. They kill you. When you're fatigued, the shuttles stopping and starting again, having to accelerate again. It just kills you. 
Come on, Nick. You gotta round them out. Yeah, that's that's I guess that's the only way. But it gives you more distance, right? So it's a catch twenty-two. The pain is setting in. Holy shit, ninety-eight. What's that? Eleven point four. Now the best result we've got so far is fourteen from our, our man, the professional footballer. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> go! He just went two meters behind the line. Oh, he's out. He's out. The four minute mile is out. Unreal. Keep it going. Keep it going. Who's going to win? Who will walk away victorious? This may be the greatest running competition I've ever seen in my life. Normally it's elementary school. High schoolers. Right here we have elite athletes throwing down. Absolutely. This is for bragging rights, man. Big bragging rights at school. Green shirt is definitely riding the pain train by the facial expression. I think he's got what it takes, though. He's out in the sprint. Two point two K's. Here we go! All day, all day. One hundred twelve. Oh, down to the final two. Down to the final two. Come on, kids! This is the greatest running event in the history of ESPN eight. The Ocho. Oh wow. Oh, definitely. I'm excited. Yeah! Come on, keep going, keep going. Here it is. You got to hit it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, yes. The one and only green shirt rides the pain train all. Hundred and sixteen. Yeah. Hundred and sixteen. In the old terms, hundred and sixteen would have been level twelve point ten. First place, quite possibly the greatest racing event of all time. Okay, twelve point one zero four. Nick Simmons versus subscribers. ESPN The Ocho has never aired anything better than this. Screw dodgeball, screw it all. This is it right here. Once again, thanks to our sponsor, Run Gum, for sponsoring this video. By far the best way to absorb caffeine. Apparently so. Cheers, mate. I'll see you later. Okay, guys, you know what? I think that may just be the end of this video. And what that means is that it's my turn. What do you guys think? Let me have a look at these numbers once again. So some of the best athletes at the AFL Combine, some of the fittest athletes in Australia, got 13.5. As a pro footballer, the expectation is to at least get 12 or 13. The pro footballer we saw do the beep test got level 14.1, which is the highest of the day. Uh, the beep test performance indicators in general for men, five is terrible, 13 is really great. BuzzFeed Oz, that guy who was 185 centimeters tall with the other two chicks, he got 10.3. And Nick Simmons versus the subscribers, the top score of that video was 12.10. So, look guys, I'm gonna say if I don't beat my score that I got nine years ago and I don't get 10 or above, no, well guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say I have to, without doubt, get at least 10. That's gonna equal my effort of nine years ago and it's also gonna, yeah, just, just, just get you into that, that, up, that upper you know, level of fitness, I think. So at least 10, if I could get 12, I'd be absolutely stoked. And if I could get 13, well actually, you know what? I'm not gonna go there. I think 12 is the goal. And if I can get 12, I'm gonna be really, really happy. So with that being said, guys, it's about time we take this camera down to the field and I'll see you there. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. And if you do have any ideas of other physical challenges that I could try, please let me know in the comment section below. And if I don't get back to your comment, then hit me up on Instagram because I'm always there. So with that being said, catch you later.